Hi guys! Here with our skelter. Uh, let me try and fix that. Okay. That's a bit more aligned. Uh, yeah. Revel. Uh, I just did a impromptu opening of this box, and fortunately, the video I had too much um, light in the background, so it got screwed up. Uh, I got this in the mail today. Uh, one thing I noticed. Uh, the instruction manual is somewhat larger than the one I have. Uh, the one I have is from the 1984 line and this one is from the uh, 2013 line. Uh, another thing I noticed was this uh, rubber band uh, yeah, maybe uh, it used to be a cloth that you wrapped around but I think they uh, uh, switched it out when they made the uh, the new uh, uh, new line because I think they got complaints about it. Uh, however, I think I'm gonna go back to the cloth, depending on how this will behave. I'm gonna do some tests with it first. Uh, yeah, we have uh, I can open it and show you. Uh, I got this uh, the first mo uh, version I got back when I was uh, 12, 13, something like that. Let's see. When this came out, I wasn't even. I was eight years. So I got this uh, maybe. somewhere around there. Uh, let's see if they improved the caterpillar feet. And I don't think so. No, they haven't. Uh, these, as everyone know, rubber bands will rubber tracks can be a pain in the ass and secure uh, because sometimes not even super glue works and yeah we made them like that at least so you can, can secure them like that Good. Uh, we have I mean, this thing is going to be massive, even even in one to two hundred scales. So uh, we have one, we have two, we have three identical sprues. 
Why? Because there are, I think it rests on three identical uh, on three identical legs uh, if you can see it uh, or support uh, it's going to be a bit finically no it won't actually story short, uh, I had this to my, well to an old, I don't call, I don't know the proper name for it in English, but direct translation is, um, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, I can't even translate it. second I know the name uh, daily activities uh, anyway back oh 20 years ago I went to a place here in town and uh, well long story short I got tired uh, took a break and then when I started at another location uh, this had the unfortunate, well, I accidentally dropped it in the floor, so it was in the bottom, bottom pieces. Uh, I had it in a box and was, well, putting it together. Shut up. Uh, slowly but steadily and uh, I took a break a couple of weeks maybe three months and when I came back and was going to get it some cleaning lady unknown to me had uh, thrown the box out so I lost this I lost a Another model, uh, the Robotech factory, uh, and a few other models that I could care less about. But it's taken me, hmm, yeah, 20 odd years to get this in my hands again. Uh, I have the Robotech factory, I bought that maybe sometime last year. Now that this came up for a reasonably cheap price, I paid about uh, 940 Swedish kroner with uh, 
shipping. Uh, the model itself cost uh, 700 and uh, 50 something, 55 or 54. So, um, who the heck was messaging me? <laughs> Great. Uh, anyway, I got these two now, and uh, it's going to take me a while to get into this. Don't expect me to start with it this year, not even next year. Uh, I have a renovation of my apartment in a few weeks. Uh, after that, I'm going to take my time and set up my hobby corner the way I want it. Uh, I have a ton of other models I uh, need to get finished. I have a submarine I need to finish. I have uh, a train with uh, uh, wagons I need to fix up I have my railway cannon Loki I need to fix I have uh, maybe a dozen other models I've started on finished maybe one or two steps and then just moved on to another project. Uh, so I need to take the thumb out of my ass and finish those models. And as I see now, I have two 40k Tau uh, tanks I need to finish. So it's been piling up and piling up and I've been buying new models but uh, this one is a keepsake. I will make it sometime. Problem is where the hell am I gonna put it when it's finished? <laughs> because uh, space is at a premium in this <laughs> apartment. Uh, I will tear out a few of the snap kits, uh, Star Wars snap kits from my uh, display case here because I need to have room with uh, uh, Jabba the Hutt's throne room and if I'm if I can get my hands on the last Star Wars diorama, which is uh, most Eisley's Cantina, I need a spot for that as well. So I need to make a, a design, or should I say, a, I need a special order, a display case for my oil rig which is taking up about one fourth of my display case here you can see it if we turn you guys and tilt you down a bit you can see it's standing at the bottom here uh, and of course in 
here are uh, Battle of Halt uh, action scene and the yeah the hangar bay or whatever you call it anyway I think well we take you a bit of a tour of my models so, Oh, hands free. Uh, uh, here you can see the uh, house, the railway cannon, and my train. There is one wagon, which is a bit dented. Uh, a few things have fallen off it. There is the other wagon. Uh, a few of these models I've just shoved them in the last time. There is the submarine. Uh, there are the two tow tanks. There is my latest invention, I thought. And here are a few things I've thrown in. Uh, Open says me. Yeah, there is the Jabba. I'm working on it. Uh, I have one of these all the way up there. So, uh, this is just some goofy thing I made up sometime. Uh, if we move the. That. Uh, a fairly decent tomcat, I think. Uh, this, I'm gonna get a new uh, truck for this trailer. The trailer is decent, even though I got a bit uh, slap happy with the decal. Uh, all are hand painted. This one is ugly hand painted. Uh, I can get you better detail on the oil rig. I've shown it before, but... So, I can't have it uh, in one piece, because this top piece would end about three floors up. Uh, here's a... damn. This bloody scout is driving me nuts. Urgh, stand you finicky Fine, lay there. Uh, here's the... <laughs> the... Uh, Luke and Yoda diorama. And I haven't glued them in. <laughs> R2 is glued in. It's is it a bit dirty as you can see. Uh, the thing is, or was, that painting this uh, this the way you, sh you can see it in the movie, it looks uh, crap. So I had to dirty it down. Uh, yeah, that thing. Okay, we do it like this. Uh, down you go. And put you on a chair. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Oh, like that then. No, nope. too much. Or should I say too little? Now you can stand your something. And speaking about Star Wars, if you can see it, 
I actually have a walker standing in there hiding. So I need to fix that. Uh, in this box it's just uh, Warhammer material and don't mind my clean clothes here. In this box Warhammer, in this box Warhammer. I had them up in the kitchen before. And here we can see uh, some that's a uh, hornet up top. That's a uh, NASA shuttle. The Enterprise. The command module. Uh, we have a Voyager and Enterprise JJ Abrams version. We have a Schnellboot for you German people. Uh, a torpedo, torpedo boat. Uh, we have uh, another shell. <laughs> Actually, this one with uh, launch platform and uh, tanks. We have a cutty sark. We have. <sighs> Sorry for that. Let's see, we have cut the Sark, we have Enterprise D, Enterprise A, Enterprise D, <laughs> my Vaza ship. And here are some empty boxes. Here's the uh, Robotype factory I talked about. Uh, some odd ships I bought some time ago. Here is my uh, box for. Um, And my Bane Blade I'm working on. There is a thought out, uh, it's actually a, a Boeing uh, space station. Uh, I'm working on it and there's the tank for the shuttle. Uh, and under here is my Vasa ship. Sorry for the wonky camera angles, people. Uh, here are some odd. Yeah, this uh, shell actually came with this model. Um, here are some lost parts for it. I'm gonna add them again. A enterprise stand and <laughs> sorry that's um hello in Swedish um uh, let's see do you ever see yeah I actually have two of them in the same box so Give me a minute, moment. Okay. I forgot I had to put up the rebel. And up here are a bunch of ships. Uh, they're actually. I actually bought. Uh, One model, and then I uh, lost the instruction book, so I bought another, and then I find the first one. Uh, anyway, I, so I reconfigured one of the uh, versions of each to function as a space uh, inspired version. And then I took uh, the other one 
of the submarines and just cut it on the waterline. I'm going to uh, see if I can if I have the time and inclination and all that stuff I'm actually going to put these on a water diorama base so I don't think I have ooh, any other models showing at the moment yeah uh, these two are two failed attempts at building uh, bumblebee so Anyway, I have a lot of cutting and all that stuff, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.